are the first. Did I say first already? Because we're the first, the first, the first. We are the first in Texas. I'm with the Brownsville South Padre Island International Airport. Thank you, everyone, for coming. I hope you're having fun. You're having fun? Awesome, awesome. I saw you cross the wrong ways. I saw you cross those taxiways. You guys are doing great. Thank you for being here at our house. Uh, we're happy to host the first electric car competition in South Texas. I think is the future of our young people has to do with science and math and, and you know engineering all those things that are important to the future and ought to be important to all the young people in this community. We have 31 teams from across Texas that will come in today. They ran their qualifying sessions yesterday that allowed them to get practice time to know the, the track they're racing today. And then what you'll see today is that the middle school group will run a 60 minute race. So it's, it's a mix of performance and endurance. So you're worried about the efficiency of the car over that 60 minute period. The high school and college age groups will actually run a more challenging race where they'll be running for 90 minutes long on a single set of batteries. As I mentioned earlier, this is an electric car series, so it's a mix of the efficiency of those batteries and the performance of the car as well. It's important for me because um, uh, electric vehicles are the way that it's going to happen in the future. Uh, they will be uh, more and more prevalent. As we go into autonomous vehicles, we're going to need to see more electric vehicles. And uh, it was just important for me to see that the children in this community, our children, get the opportunity to be involved in this event. This is our first car. Uh, I think that's one of the big things is we're putting it together, discovering, you know what, I think we forgot a bolt. All of a sudden something's loose that shouldn't be. And so we're learning as, a, as we go. And so it's been a, a pretty good, challenging learning curve. And what everybody's looking at now, the team's excited on how do we make the car better? How do we make it faster? And again, we're looking at, at the rest of the competition and say, you know what, we like that design. They had something there. And so we talk to the team, talk to the coach, and figure out how can we even do it better than, than what they did. And that's what we're trying to do. It's just like to know that we had built it ourselves, that we had actually built the car and then driving it, just to know that we made it ourselves, I think that was the best part. Learning to drive it was kind of difficult, but we were able to test drive it and it was a nice experience actually, knowing to how to drive and knowing that you're the one driving. You built that car and it's amazing. I'm a driver, so some of the obstacles that we faced was when we were first making the car, like it wasn't totally ready. So like we did have a few setbacks, like sometimes with the brakes or the steering, like the car would lean to a little bit more to one side. So as a driver, I would tell like the mechanic crew, like, oh, like we need to fix this or this needs more improvement. So it was really a teamwork effort. You know, it's been a great learning experience. I teach chemistry, I teach physics. Uh, and this exercise, this whole program is great because now they get their hands on, on things that I've been trying to teach that are theories. But when we talk about aerodynamics and the, the overheating of the motor and so forth, now they touch it, they see it, they feel it, they understand. And it's a great way for me as a teacher to try to tie that back into something that they can really see. Even if I just bring a video, it's not the same as the hands-on. And that's what's so great about this program. <laughs>